Without as much snow, duties for public works crews across the metro have changed a little. Through Wednesday, weather totals indicate the metro is six and a half inches behind our average snow total for a winter. We, we always have the, the same amount of work to do, no matter our staffing levels. So. At MoDOT, engineer Matt Killian says his agency budgets $51 million each year for snow removal. This light snow season is on track to save some money on supplies for next year. Also, road crews won't need extra payroll to dig out from weekend weather events. We don't have to pay folks as much if they're... Um, you know, uh, doing other routine activities. They're just normally working eight hours a day um, during the work week. Killian says the savings are hard to tally up until later in the year. The easier snow demand frees his crew up to remove debris and brush from roadsides, among other tasks. We've only had one plowing event so far this season. In Overland Park, public works managers budget $560,000 each year for the city's snow plan. Josh Welge, a maintenance manager in that division, staffed eight events last year. His department also stands to save money. His drivers also repair potholes and damaged roads. Usually the cold kind of prohibits it's at least how efficient we are in doing it. We're able to get a lot of those requests and complaints and, and routine repair type stuff a lot better this season. Warm weather has had a lot to do with the lack of snow. The Fox 4 weather team reports so far the month of January as a whole has been 8 degrees warmer than the month of December was. Public Works officials are quick to remind us it likely won't end that way and winter isn't over by a long shot. Sean McDowell, Fox 4, working for you.